Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. A devotional by Ellen White. July 28th, the world against God's people. Sound the battle cry, see the foe is nigh. Raise the standard high for the Lord. Gird your armor on, stand firm everyone. Rest your cause upon his holy word. Strong to meet the foe, marching on we go. While our cause we know must prevail. Shield and banner bright, gleaming in the light. Battling for the right we ne'er can fail. Rouse then, soldiers, rally round the banner. Ready, steady, pass the word along. Onward, forward, shout aloud, Hosanna. Christ is captain of the mighty throng. The world against God's people. The dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. Our people have been regarded as too insignificant to be worthy of notice, but a change will come. The Christian world is now making movements which will necessarily bring commandment-keeping people into prominence. The whole world is to be stirred with enmity against Seventh-day Adventists because they will not yield homage to the papacy by honoring Sunday, the institution of this anti-Christian power. It is the purpose of Satan to cause them to be blotted from the earth in order that his supremacy of the world may not be disputed. Every position of truth taken by our people will bear the criticism of the greatest minds. The highest of the world's great men will be brought in contact with truth. And therefore, every position we take should be critically examined and tested by the scriptures. Now, we seem to be unnoticed, but this will not always be. Movements are at work to bring us to the front, and if our theories of truth can be picked to pieces by historians or the world's greatest men, it will be done. We must individually know for ourselves what is truth and be prepared to give a reason of the hope that we have with meekness and fear, not in a proud boasting self-sufficiency, but with the spirit of Christ. We are nearing the time when we shall stand individually alone to answer for our belief. We shall be attacked on every point. We shall be tried to the utmost. We do not want to hold our faith simply because it was handed down to us by our fathers. Such a faith will not stand the terrible test that is before us. We want to know why we are Seventh-day Adventists. What real reason we have for coming out from the world as a separate and distinct people. The powers of darkness will open their batteries upon us. And all who are indifferent and careless, who have set their affections on their earthly treasure, and who have not cared to understand God's dealings with his people, will be ready victims. No power but a knowledge of the truth as it is in Jesus will ever make us steadfast. But with this, one may chase a thousand, and two put ten thousand to flight. Maranatha, the Lord is coming. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening, and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.